Hello, Dan Rogowski here from howtomechatronics.com. In this video, I will show you how you can make this awesome looking Infinity Mirror Music View Meter. We will start with the electronics part. This project is based on the LM3915 integrated circuit, which can sense analog voltage levels and drive 10 LEDs. Here's the basic circuit schematic. The IC can be powered from 3 to 25 volts at the VCC pin number 3 and the ground pin number 2. The analog signal goes into pin number 5. The pins from 6 to 8 are used for adjusting the voltage reference or the sensing and the pin 9 is used for selecting bar or dot mode. The 10 output pins are active flow with a current from 1 to 30 mA, so the LEDs should be connected with the negative lead to the IC outputs and there is no need of resistors. Now because 10 LEDs are just too less for a project like this, I made a little modification to the circuit schematic. At each output, instead of a LED, I connected a NPN transistor through a 1K resistor for a protection and at the collector of each transistor, I connected 4 LEDs through 470 ohms resistors. So in that way, I connected a total of 40 LEDs. Here's the complete circuit diagram of how everything should be connected. Ok, now we are ready to move on and start building the infinity mirror. The point of the infinity mirror is that the LED or the light source needs to be placed between a mirror and a glass on which is attached a 50 to 80% reflective window film. Depending on the quality of the film and the amount of reflection it provides, the light will keep bouncing between the mirror and the glass, but at the same time some of the light will escape through the glass. Therefore, from the other side of the filmed glass, you will be able to see the infinity effect. So, the glass and the housing that I used for this project are from a wall clock and I managed to find a suitable same size mirror. Next, we need something on which we will attach the LEDs that will hold them between the mirror and the glass. For that purpose, I used a 5mm thick styrofoam but a cardboard or something like that can be also used. After inserting all LEDs, we need to solder all negative leads together and solder a separate wire to each positive lead. Next, we need to solder all electronics components as described in the circuit diagram previously. Once we are done with that, we also need to solder all wires coming from the LEDs to the circuit board at this point, it can get a bit messy because of the many wires, so you should be careful when connecting them. Once we are done with this, we should test whether the electronics work properly. Next, we need to assemble everything together. So, in the housing first goes the filmed glass and on top of it the styrofoam with the LEDs. Once they are secured in place, on top of them goes the mirror, which is also secured using a glue gun. What's left now is to make a stand for the infinity mirror. For that purpose, I use a metallic box from a perfume, which was the exactly same size as I needed. So I secured the infinity mirror to the box using a glue gun, cut its cover to size, made the holes and attached the power jack, the audio jack, the potentiometer and the switch. That's all, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. For more projects and tutorials, visit my official website howtomechatronics.com.